it's 2019. Are, are we seriously still doing the Be A Man storyline? I guess. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, hi. That's We're good. talking about Stuber. <laughs> um, you just had to throw one in there, didn't you? I, I had to weasel it. I know you've heard it, but they haven't heard it. And uh, you know what? Yeah, I just got this review five stars. Taking it back to old school YouTube when YouTube had stars. Remember that? No, I don't. Really? <laughs> no. God damn, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we repressed, except we pressed that out of our collective memory. <laughs> so, um, this movie, what did you think? I think, like, if I was planning on just kind of having a night with a six-pack of Angry Orchard and I pulled this out of a red box, I'd have a pretty good time. You really like this movie? Well, I mean, I think it's okay. Okay, you liked it more than I did. That's fair. You're allowed to. <laughs> Yeah, um, I didn't hate this movie Same. as much as I hated the first act. What was the first act? Though? Uh, where everyone's horrible and it's really mean spirited and oh, everything yeah, sucks that. and you just want to die. Oh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that right. first act. Yeah, that was hard uh, to get through, but. Um, uh, it gets better, but <sighs> it's still pretty bad. It's kind of like a lot. Uh, of, it's like, it's got its good moments, like. What was it? Uh, Stu and Dave Bautista have I mean, that's, good chemistry, but that's really just kind of the highlight of the whole movie, really. They say some funny shit, but there's not much else to it. Than even that. though I didn't really laugh all that much, you laughed more than I did. Yeah. I think it was only like, I'm like, and I like Dave Bautista, I like uh, Camille Nagiani, but mm -hmm. I, I was his name. Uh, but I like, God, they are wasted here with yeah. a honestly a really outdated script. That yeah. feel like it's deliberately meant to mock the current generation, um, in a way, in a very kind of really, we're still promoting toxic masculinity as a positive kind mm -hmm. of a way, uh, which yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The more I see it, the more I have fucking problems with it. Yeah, but... and there is a lot of that in this movie, and that was getting really getting on my fucking nerves mm. uh, because right off the bat, they're playing the archetypes. Dave Batista does the yeah. big raw raw. I'm a big burly man and I'm all manly and stuff like that mm -hmm. but uh, Camille Nagiani is the the sensitive soul who yeah, is it, the, uh, who's in love with his platonic friend mm -hmm. and he, he just wants to talk about his feelings I do have the I do have issue with the platonic friend thing but we'll get into that we'll later get, you can get in that a little later uh, right. that's one of the problematic elements oh, yeah. it's... I'd say that like honestly like this movie tries to it pretends to challenge toxic, toxic masculinity without actually doing it. Yeah, it's like it's challenging it, but at the same time, it's also glorifying it in literally moments apart from each other. Yeah, and it's that's like, like I found that 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 really fucking bothered me. It made me think yeah. too deeply in this kind of a movie. But that being said, it's such a prevalent I, theme. I turned, that it's kind of hard not to see. I it. turned off my brain somewhere around the first dark. So I yeah. I kept seeing this and it kept fucking bothering me because I'm mm -hmm. so fucking tired of this. Yeah. Uh, where it's like, and here's the thing, like even like. Uh, it gets, like, you can tell right at the back, back what the arc's going to be. Stu is going to learn how to be uh, like... Uh, stand uh, up like, for himself. Stand and be up a man, for himself. A badass motherfucker. Yeah, be a man. And the more manly he has... be a man. The, the more, <laughs> like... Uh, be a man. Like, uh, the, the more man he is, the more everyone's going, yeah, you're a man now. You're mm -hmm. awesome. Look at all the manly stuff you're doing right oh, now. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Dave Batista... Explosions. Jesus, then Dave Batista's going to learn how to be more sensitive mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And we kind of get that. Yeah. But then it's immediately turned into a joke. Yeah. Uh, like, case in point, like, at the end, when uh, Dave Batista is, cries a little bit because, a uh, spoiler, Stu saves his daughter. Yeah. Uh, Stu saves his daughter. You're not going to go see this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching yeah, this, you've either already you're... seen it or you're just waiting to hear me rant about it. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then that's immediately turned into uh, Stu going, "Do you want a tissue?" Because mm -hmm. the big burly man cried. See, they were kind of playing yeah. that off as like a fucking like a callback to an earlier thing he was mocking him for, but it's just like, 
Uh, it just comes. It felt weak. It, it feels mean spirited, and that's yeah. what I have a problem with. Like, it wants to have its cake, eat it too, but it also really wants to still promote, like, still want to go there. Yeah, be a man is what you mm, should want to do. Pretty much. That's what you should want to be. You want to be. You don't want to be like Stu. You want to be like a Dave Batista, yeah. big, burly, and strong, mm -hmm. who can throw a safe at a fucker's head. Yeah, that was like. Same motherfucker falls down two flights of stories and gets shot. What is this Superman ass motherfucker made of? And Just still like, oh, somehow walks away without a goddamn scratch. <laughs> I mean, you want to talk about how we, we fucking pointless. You should have saved that guy for fucking Hobbs and Shaw, you know, just yeah. like, yeah. At least that character, had, like, the one in Hobbs and Shaw, you know, personality and oh, yeah. lines. <laughs> God, yeah. Holy the, shit, yeah, he barely talks. But, he has exactly one line. I counted. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think they were, like, playing up the more, like, the, the freaking no. blonde lady who I completely forgot... Like what was it? I forgot or, she existed. Yeah, yeah like, I did. I had, like, I had like when they showed, revealed her to be like the villain. I had like, wait, who? I was like, oh right, is that uh, her mom? Or, no, no, it's a. Uh, oh yeah, that was the other officer lady who was mm. all like, you're off the. Okay, yeah, I forgot because this movie was just kind of like, eh. yeah. Um. So eh. and then she gets hit by a car and she's just gone for the rest of the movie. Yeah, she probably. <laughs> uh. Meanwhile, the main villain of the piece <laughs> is just this. Bleach blonde hair Asian drug dealer yeah. who has literally one line in the entire film. What uh, did he say? Do you remember? I don't even fucking remember. It was like some along <laughs> the lines of "I'm gonna take everything you love." Oh yeah, that was, like it. That. it was just like, and that was his only he goddamn speaks. line. And yet, mm -hmm. the, and yet, the, I play him up with those big ass threads. Like motherfucker, the only thing I know about him is he's fucking blonde. Yeah, uh, he's like and the, he sells drugs. That's all I know about step, him. Step step one to villainy and Stuber: dye your hair blonde. Oh god, the blondes. Blonde, blonde people, all blonde people. Anti blonde. This movie. This movie. <laughs> and also, it tries to do another weird thing where it keeps it like it wants again. It wants to have its cake and eat it too. Yeah. Where it wants to make racist jokes. Um, but thinks it's it, like, but then excuses the fact they're making racist jokes by pointing out they're making racist jokes, and yeah, then never like, doing anything with it. Mm. So we they did what we call a Big Bang Theory. Oh, <laughs> oh damn! Which is a well, our joke is racist, but we said it's racist, so it's okay. Mm. Uh, but it's like really though, because you're not really saying anything about it. Yeah. You're not you're not making any kind of commentary about it. You're just doing it because you want to do it. Pretty much. Um, and and you're going for the cheap laughs here. You're doing that. You're you're making pot shots mm -hmm. at like sensitive people every goddamn chance you get. Uh, and, by, and by the way, for people like say, like say I'm over sensitive like SJW or any bullshit like that, like I'm not even like offended or anything about by that. No. It's just really fucking sloppy, mm -hmm. and it's just annoying. Like it's that like this you kind of like, want a higher caliber. It's 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 go, it's going to get it's grabbing the low hanging fruit. Yeah, it's going for the easy targets. Mm -hmm. It's going for the horror uh, like horror. <laughs> it might as well be horror. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the, the comedy cliches that have just been played to. Fucking death, yeah. and especially now when like so much has changed, and like the society uh, way society mm -hmm. views this thing is drastically changing. The fact that we're still holding on to this is like, mm -hmm. for fuck's sake, try harder, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's why this movie made me angry. It's just like it's just <laughs> perpetually lazy, mm. and it's it's lazy while trying to act like it's trying to say something. Yeah, and what it's actually it's saying is like... just old, outdated bullshit ideas. Yeah. Um, that's I, probably more out of the uh, stupid review than most of you guys were expecting. <laughs> yeah, I barely, I barely yeah. remember shit about this movie. Now that I'm really thinking about it, I'm just like, maybe like a couple quips here and there, but like most of this movie, I'm pretty sure I completely forgot. Maybe that's why you liked it more than I did. <laughs> probably. Like I said, I turned my brain off for somewhere around the first act, so it was like, mm -hmm. like occasionally there would be a quip that I thought was kind of funny, and I'd be like, huh, that was a good one. I mean, but like, it's just like, I don't know. To me, I blame the fact that I have, like, I've been, uh, this is going to sound really pretentious. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, I've been, I've been, like, studying how to analyze, like, film and literature a lot ten more. Out of ten pretentious. Nicely done. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> it's because, no, I, 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 can, I can make it, I can top it off. Huh? But it's because I'm smarter than you, mm, Plebeians, because mm. I study the arts of uh, film and television and literature that I can <laughs> expose and 
fully comprehend mm -hmm. the deep, complex themes going on on the moving picture. Would you Would you like a monocle while you're sipping that tea? Don't mind me. I <laughs> have one in my mind's eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me a mind's eye. Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now let me go into my mind palace. <laughs> Just and, like, and hey, excuse me. I have to go... Re <laughs> Excuse me, I had to write a clickbait article about how Citizen Kane is actually a piece of shit. No, actually, it's more like, I'm going to write a think beat article on how, do you, how the fact that you love the MCU films makes you a bad film lover. <laughs> <laughs> Comic book movies are the end of culture. <laughs> it's like, female superheroes, dot, 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 wrong? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> rabble, rabble, Brie Larson. Rabble, rabble, <laughs> rabble, rabble, rabble. I'm, I'm especially speaking through my mustache. Uh, <laughs> Alita is better than Captain Marvel. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know about that, good. <laughs> what, wait, what's better than Captain Marvel? Uh, it's, it's a long story filled with a bunch of sexist assholes. Uh, okay, I know uh, people were giving it shit because, like... They're being a bunch of sexist assholes about it, but yeah. Most, yeah. I fucking loved Captain Marvel. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, there's legitimate yeah. reasons not to like it, so that's one of those cases. If you didn't like it, it's fine. But it's like, like you know, it's like mm -hmm. you know, it's like I liked the good stuff a lot more than I didn't like the bad stuff. So yeah. it's just like, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the point. Uh, the point let's of that about, is, let's just talk is, about better movies. This entire review. I know, right? Just, like, uh, like, fucking... I mean, like, really, what it boils down. Like, my point is, though, to, mm. uh, all the pretentiousness aside. Yeah. Uh, is is that I guess I'm just m more aware of this than I was a couple years ago. That's fair. Uh, you grew as a person. Yeah. Uh, learning shit. Yeah. Basically, I've, I've forced mm. myself to learn. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so like, I guess when I see shit like that, especially since I saw the same exact fucking thing and oddly enough, Secret Life of Pets two recently. Oh, uh, I guess it is also more fresh in my memory is more like, yeah, this, why are we still promoting, like, what is clearly toxic masculinity? Yeah. Uh, like, the definition, and like, the most critique it really gets is that Dave Bautista is a bad father and that his father shouldn't, like, uh, Dave Bautista's father shouldn't have left him in the desert. <laughs> That's like the most real like... critique about his, like, <laughs> attitude that you really get. Um... And I'm not, I'm not saying I expect this movie to be like super deep or meaningful. Step one to parenting. Do not leave mm. children in desert. Yeah. All like, right. Now we just have to write a movie mm. about this. And then even like the one part where like they have a heart to heart where he says like, it's okay for men to ask for help. That, like that's in, that lesson is immediately like outdone trying. by the yeah. like, one second later when oh, the yeah. person that Dave Bautista calls happens to be the mole. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like, well, Plus you kind of like, contradicted yourself. At the same, he's also kind of giving him shit about it too, where he's like, see, calling for help is great. Yeah, you're doing the, great. The sky oh, didn't fucking fall. fucking baby, and he's twice your size. All right, it, and it just does shit like that, where it just takes every pot shot yeah. at that imaginable. Like, it, like the movie clearly does not want you to be like Stu, but it feels like it has a can't mm -hmm. the message in there because otherwise other people will get angry, and I'm still angry anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> and here's the thing: despite all my bitching, despite all my complaining, yep. I'm gonna forget most of this movie in a week. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I already forgot most of it. Like walking uh, to this car. I mean, like I was thinking more about Stuber puns than I was about the movie. I mean, like the like, honestly, the stuff I'm talking about now is like the most interesting thing I can think of to talk about this movie. Not yeah. anything that happens in the film mm. uh, or the characters yeah. or the plot. It's just the subtext. The subtext really fucking bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, you mentioned you want to talk about the daughter a bit. What? Yeah, well, not the daughter, but um, what was it? Fucking, oh, the friend thing. Yeah, the, the friend thing. The friend thing. Because, um, what was it? They're kind of, you know, one of the plain plot points that they have is like, Stu's grand character motivational arc is that, you know, he's always, you know, he's waiting for a girl to fall in love with him and he's trying to, you know, but then she's all like, oh, you know, you're such a good friend, I want to fuck you, and then it's just kind of this whole back and forth between, like, him being a nice guy and she's his manic pixie dream girl and it's just kind of this whole thing and I'm just like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like it's, just, I don't know, that whole thing was just like, uh, yeah, these guys. I'm kind of, 
I'm kind of glad those two characters did not get together because I'm all like, yeah, this whole thing is just a toxic fucking. Mess. I mean, you know that's where they were going from the beginning. Yeah, I fucking. Uh, know that. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just like, come on. I mean, like this is like that's definitely a case know. where that's kind of difficult for me to talk about because mm -hmm. I've been on both sides of that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, and Same. Well, I've been on one side of that, but I I've been on both, and mm. well. One ended okay. The other one ended horribly. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's one of those cases. Like, this is actually the one thing I will give it credit that I, I thought it actually handled okay. Yeah. Uh, was when Stu does kind of fess up things. Mm. Granted, the, like, the worst possible time. Yeah. And this is something, like, I've railed about. Like, go watch the Colossus or, uh, Colossal Review mm. uh, for my rant about the nice guy uh, syndrome. Oh, God. Uh, which, like, you Don't get you me should, started on nice You guys. should like me, because I'm a nice guy. And oh, he's like, why, have, why don't yeah. you love me? We've been friends for a long time. You owe me. Oh. Uh, which sign up? Uh, I've seen a lot. Go watch Colossal. It's a great movie. Uh, okay. It's actually kind of a metaphor for all of that. Uh, <laughs> And alcoholism, that's a whole other thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, the, I like this movie does address the fact, um, like this is like the one update I'll give it, mm -hmm. in the fact that when he does fight someone's feelings, and it, first off, she doesn't return his feelings at all. Yeah, like, absolutely. Okay, I, I, yeah, like I was like, fine with that. And there, like, there's yeah. no MacGuffin at the end when she comes in and says, I think I decided I love you now, let's be together. Yeah. And Stu has to go, no, babe, I moved on. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I'm glad they didn't go that route, because that's, that's like, that is one thing this movie outgrew. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it that. Uh, but then it's at the same time, they also go, like, no, it wasn't, it's not your fault that you don't like me. Like, that was both like, okay, that's a message I actually like, because okay. that doesn't get spread around enough. There we go. Uh, so that was like the one thing I will give this movie. <laughs> the one thing I liked. Mm -hmm. um, in a sea of shit, that is the one thing I liked. And weird bleach blonde villains who can take a remarkable <laughs> amount of abuse and walk off scot-free. I'm so, sorry. That's what happens when you don't have lines. You're just like immediately bulletproof. Like, I'm sorry. Dave Batista grabs one of those portable fucking seats and hits you oh, in man. the skull. Yeah, he just like fucking shit that dead. off like a champ. <laughs> and he's like fucking parkouring down some fucking shit. And then he drops more shit on him. He drops like a fucking like a... It's like a catering like a cart. cart. Yeah, like yeah. a... Yeah, catering cart. Drops it on his head. He falls... Two stories! And then he just like Down walks off floor. like a fucking chain. And he just he walks it off. He's fine. Yeah. Not even not, not even limping. Yeah. Not even limping. Yeah, don't worry. And then about he it. gets good. shot by fucking Amy Pond. And <laughs> you, you know Amy Pond. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Alright, alright. Uh, the worst but then he, opinion. That's a controversial opinion, but I'm yeah. standing by it. Oh, you don't like Amy? I oh, shit. hated Amy Pond. Ooh. I hated her. Oof. She is the most obnoxious hypocrite. Damn. Uh, All right. I hated her, guys. <laughs> Couldn't wait till she died. Damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's okay. I know people with more mm -hmm. controversial Doctor Who opinions. Oh, yeah. Um, but anyway, like um. Like, I actually liked Clara. I don't know why you're going to say yeah. shits on Clara. Uh, Clara's fine. Yeah, she did better. She got better with the Peter Bacaldi use. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, now it's going to turn to like Although a long favorite, Durant. My favorite companion is uh, Donna. I love Donna's Donna. awesome. Donna's the fucking best. Yeah, Donna's great. Right. Yeah, with the Beyond question, Donna's oh, the best. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Right. This yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do Doctor Who fanboy. Hashtag, so. hashtag Donna best companion. Just right there in the... <laughs> You know, God, of just all the things we right could have possibly said that would ever start trending. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the one, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag uh, those sneaky Catholics. <laughs> oh, man, that yeah. is not aged well. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair uh, enough. How long ago was that? Uh, I want to say a like, few years. Like four oh. years ago? God damn We've yeah. been doing this for eight years, man. Jesus. Or oh, seven years. So sorry, it'd be eight years in like January. Mm. Uh, damn. Yeah, goddamn. Uh, anyway. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't really have much to say about this movie because, like I said, I turned my brain off in the first act. Lucky, lucky you. You know, it's like uh, a couple. You know, some really. I'm just like a couple. Sometimes they would 
you know, like Dave Bautista, like as far as comedy goes, Dave Bautista, I forgot his fucking name. Camille again. Nagiani. Camille Nagiani. Camille Nagiani. I mean, you know, they bounce off each other well as far as like humor goes. I would like and, to see them together with a better script. Yeah, pretty much. That's kind yeah. of my main thing. Is like, yeah. Like honestly, that like the best part with their chemistry in the movie is at the end when they're getting past the whole calling each other out and their masculinity mm -hmm. issues. Oh yeah. That. Um, which is a long ass sequence. Yeah. <laughs> Um, with the biggest douchebag, uh, <laughs> which like not even like a douchebag you love to hate, just a douchebag that's like just a douchebag. He's just like a douchebag like that I want to ignore. Like, like he starts talking, and it's like, all right, if I if I had the power, I would have fast forwarded the theater past him. It's just so yeah. sad. I'm just like, all right, all right, he's the jerk. Okay, just come on, let's get keep moving, guys. Come on. Uh, anywho, I, I did not like it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Like I said, I would have to be six beers, dr six ciders drunk for this. So yeah. um, I, you, I would think I'd still be a pretentious asshole if you tried to get me to watch this drunk. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know. It's just like, you know, I'm like, crazy. You think my soapboxing when I'm sober is bad? Mm -hmm. Get me drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it escalates quickly. Oh yeah. Like uh, I'm probably never gonna watch this a second time. I, like I feel I, like this is a red box movie. Like, like Laura yeah, says, I need to like uh, inv like uh, patent a portable soapbox. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> so that way, every time I say it, like, all right, like you can like, keep it, you can keep it on the car, right under your seat, and no, just no, pull like it out. Get, get it, like something keep it in your back pocket, just like oh. it out like a rug, you know. <laughs> mm, all right. That would be handy. Or maybe, well, I mean more functionally you probably want it to be like a briefcase or something yeah like the iron man suit <laughs> yeah kind of like that where you would open it up and it would have like a little stool and you just put it down and stand up on it and like, all right comes with like a microphone and a speaker <laughs> and like, like, a, like, like, let me tell you all right motherfuckers she's about, so <laughs> about to go woke let me tell you why kirk cameron's movie uh, save your christmas best movie you haven't seen <laughs> <laughs> Are you all aware of the fucking majesty that is Dungeons and Dragons 2000 with Jeremy Irons? Ah, cha -cha 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 -cha! oh, dude, no, oh, no, man, no, he's got no. the brights on. But uh, they can't, they can't really know mad. how white I am. Well, I'm sunburned, so I, at least I got a little more color than you. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, nah, 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 man. <laughs> fuck Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons go fuck itself, dude. It's all about them mazes and monsters. <laughs> We're going old school oh with my Tom god. Hanks. Oh god, was that a thing? This is a real movie. Oh god. <laughs> Look up Mazes and Monsters. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is like early career Tom Hanks, right? Oh yeah. Oh thank fucking Christ. You can tell. Because oh, Tom Hanks plays the person who gets too into D and D because you know it was Satan's tool back then. Oh god. <laughs> And his friends have to Ugh. help him through a psychotic episode. <laughs> I'm getting a very Darkest Dungeons vibe from this. Kind of was. Oh, okay. It's kind of hilarious. It was the 70s, wasn't it? Or 80s. It, it was around the time where like everyone was wondering, like, do you, like Dungeons and Dragons was, like, used to, like, summon Satan and demons oh, yeah. and shit. Early yeah. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. It, it's a reaction to that. Post-Redbox shit, Steam Tunnels incident and whatnot. Oof. Yep. Uh, uh, so, yeah, like, 70s, 80s, somewhere in the Yeah. Way. Late uh, 70s, early 80s. <laughs> we're just shooting the shit now. Hell, I mean, it's sometimes it's sometimes still going on. Like, what was it? Fucking freshman year of college, I was telling somebody about it, and she was all like, isn't that the game that summons the devil? And I'm like, no. If anything, you actually get to kill demons in this, so it's actually Christian. Fucking nailed it. <laughs> she didn't buy it for a fucking second, but you know what? <laughs> I made my point. Did you, though? Mm. Did you really? No, nah, not really. And be honest with yourself. I've never spoken to that girl ever again after that conversation, so probably not. Wait, was this a girl you're trying to woo, or was this? I thought you said no. It was your this was just <laughs> no. This was just in the dorm, like okay, I in the common area of the dorm. I was just reading, like one of the D and D books. This is back in fourth edition, and like. She, you know, and I was, they were like, what are you reading? And I was like, oh, it's Dungeons and Dragons, just kind of this game. And 
you know, and then someone's all like, what if, but what if Satan? And I was like, but you get to pew pew the Satan, so it's okay. See, I, um, I misheard that. For some reason, I thought you said to say that to your mother, and then you, no. followed, you followed that up with, I never spoke to that woman again. <laughs> I was like, I fucking damn! Love no okay, I was going to say, man, battle lines were drawn over Dungeons and Dragons, and... <laughs> I'm still trying to get my mom and my sister to play at some point. Good luck with that. Yeah. I mean, Isabel is a hard no, but my mom's like a maybe. Like, if I could get a night where, like, Dad can be in it also, so it's just like, you know. I cannot see that. Maybe we wrong. can try to peer pressure her into it, but, yeah, I don't have any That would never that. happen, my parents. Yeah. I can never get them to play. I can tell mm. right off the bat. Um, yeah. My mother alone, or God bless her, she would leave me and go like, which dice does what? Yeah, I'm like, why are there so see, many of see these? The one with twenty sides, just hold that. And she like at the carriage. She like, I don't know how to read this. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love my mother, but that is not her thing. Uh, okay, you're gonna be playing um, a fighter. All you have to say is, I'm gonna hit it with my sword. <laughs> Everything else is up to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know how my dad would react if I just sit there so ugly and then say something about Trump. Oh uh, man, not not in the good way. <laughs> wait, wait, when did we start getting to Trump? Did, what, did I blink and miss my the dad transition? brings up politics for no goddamn reason? Oh, <laughs> he that's... emailed me once an article I in no way solicited. <laughs> oh man, your dad is my uncle Perry. I'm so sorry, it's it's okay. Does he send you random emails? Nah, but he did make us watch a documentary on how they found giants. That sounds kind of awesome. No, it was a YouTube video. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing was bullshit, but like, I, I was sitting through the whole thing, I'm like. They're not even citing any goddamn sources on any of these images. This is all bullshit. This is a 20-minute video. Is he really going to make us sit here and watch a 20-minute video? Yes. What the fuck, Perry? He's mellowed out, but like even then, it's like once in a while, I'm just like, Perry... The best part of that story is... You like, married into a Mexican family. How do you think any of this is okay? But it's just like... Wait, mm. was it, like, about... Like, no, it about? no, no, no. He's, like, he's never, like, been all like, yeah, we should deport him. Or at least not in front of me. Mm -hmm. So I don't fucking know. I just know he got into a lot of arguments with my cousin. I just know the best part of that story is when my dad told my mom that he, he sent me an email. My dad, my mom laughed in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Like in just a why would you do that kind of a way? Because <laughs> we are on such polar opposites of the political spectrum. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> that that article is just mm, like it's good. just like what do yep. you think was gonna happen <laughs> kind of a way? Um, oh man. Yeah, anyway, you want to talk about previews? Uh, briefly, because I also want to go home. Same. Uh, so like we got the two. Not that I don't like hanging out with you. Yeah, no, I it's, get, late. It's, it's late. I got, I got, yeah. I got to write some more when I get home. All right, all uh, so right, the first all right. Time, uh, this? When are you doing McConaughey? That's a third time I heard no, you. No, that's not even. That's not even McConaughey. McConaughey is all right, all right, all right. It's still See, three it's, all rights, and it's a quick. Uh, I quick can say all order. right, all right, all right without. That, it's the accent. The accent makes the McConaughey. No, no, it doesn't. You can say it all it's, right. Put in the comments whether it's, it's or not really you can say all right, all right, all right without it being a McConaughey impression. It's everyone's. If, if I say say hello to my little friend, it doesn't matter what tone I'm using. It's going to say Scarface. Well, I mean, yeah. I know you're quoting Scarface, but it's like. It could be, you know, it without the accent, the it's dog. like, yeah. It could be like about a dog. And I say, yeah. uh, so say, I say hello to my, my, little, my yeah. little friend. And it's like, hey, Scarface. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so how does that make differentiate between your... Why are we arguing about this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fucking tired, man. <laughs> so we got the Terminator trailer. I mean... That exists. What number Terminator are we even on Five. anymore? Jesus Christ. It feels Way, like more than no that. six. It feels like more than that. I forgot about Salvation. Yeah, we're on six. Eesh. Salvation, then Genesis with a Y, yeah. and now Dark Fate, which at I least just wanna, is like, spelled correctly. I just want to know what's going on at Skynet, where they're all like... Okay, I got an idea for our next Terminator robot. He's gonna look like that buff Austrian dude, except this time we're gonna give him gray hair and make him look older. Uh, are we talking about Genesis? Uh, I'm just talking about all the Terminator movies I haven't seen, but every time I see them, I'm all like, why do they keep making Arnold look old? I mean, to, to be fair. Cause they're, I imagine I mean, they're it's... basing it off the same guys. Like, is the robot aging along with the people? Yes. 
that's legitimately the explanation. Are you fucking serious right I, now? I am serious, yes. <laughs> I stopped watching Terminator after 2 because I heard everything after that sucks. Yeah, yes. So it's just like... That's accurate. Uh, oh, man. That, that was, that's, that's their excuse for why he's older in Genesis. <laughs> uh, and this one I think is an actual person. So I these... Um, that because like no, he was sent back in Genesis. He was sent back in time to protect Sarah Connor to begin with. And Wait, so he's also a person now? What the fuck? Uh, but the Terminator? Yeah. No, like in the Genesis, he's a, still a robot. But okay, they just sent the Terminator back further in time to protect Sarah Connor when she was a kid, and basically take on the father roles. And the longer he stayed with human society, the more human traits he got. And apparently, he had like an aging skin. That's how they do the whole human stuff. I'm not making any of this up. <laughs> Um, and then... What's the next trailer, Michael? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, My Spy. That uh, was the other Dave Batista comedy. Oh, yeah, Pacifier 3. Uh, honestly, that trailer got more chuckles out of me than this movie did. <laughs> All right. So, like, yeah, I don't know, there are a couple, like, there are a couple funny parts in there. It All looks right. like they're allowed Dave Batista to do more. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it still looks like Pacifier. I like how they were there. practicing walking away from the explosion with fireworks. I thought that was cute. Uh, I, I, I thought the fist scene was legitimately funny. Um, Which was, oh, they have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Must because of Dave Batista's okay. reaction. <laughs> like, <gasps> that, that was adorable. Like, okay. Yeah. And the girl looks like she's actually a f pretty good actress for her age. So, okay. like, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. Uh, then we got Blinded by the Light. Um, what was that again? That's the one where Bruce Springsteen understands the play. Right. Of the <laughs> right. So okay. That, that, that could like, be pretty interesting. Pretty much a love letter to Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which, depending on his execution, may be problematic, but I feel like I'm not the person to say. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, because you know who really needs help. I feel like help. as the years go on, my opinion tends to matter less and less to people, so, you know, it's fine. I'm getting older and opinionated, so I'm going to yeah. shout out to that ether anyway until I'm too old. Mm, there uh, we go. All so, right. like, I guess this is a case where, like, I don't know if it's actually problematic or just me uh, just projecting problems onto I mean, this. Uh, people can feel inspired by, mm, like, other cultures and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's I mean, it's true. You know, uh, that that's fine. I guess that's, that's what I wait and see. I, I didn't I didn't view it like when I was watching the trailer. I didn't think it was problematic. I just thought it was a guy who like really fucking like Springsteen. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, like, like yeah. Well, that's a wait and see. Uh, uh, let me go. What was it Ass Astro? Whatever it is. Oh yeah, it's like the space movie with Brad oh, yeah. Pitt and Tommy Lee Jones. Like Brad Pitt versus Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, in space apparently because yeah. they're experimenting with the material that would. Uh, could destroy all life on Earth. I'm like, why the fuck would you even toy with something yeah. like that? You fucking why morons. You... Uh, oh, man. Um, but I, I don't know. Well, that That's another... Who fucking knows? I don't fucking... I don't know. It didn't really stick out to me. Ill, it didn't, like... I don't know. I didn't feel drawn into it. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, and then we got Good Boys, which is just a bunch of kids saying fuck. Yeah. Uh, another dirty It's like, usually, coming. usually with movies that are all, like, saying fuck every other word, be, you know, it's like, I'm all like, this is inherently childish, but when they have literal kids doing it, I'm just like, I mean, this is childish, but for some reason, this may be just me, I think it's fucking funny when kids swear. I don't know why, it really, it's like, fucked up. Like, I'm all like, I know I shouldn't be laughing at this, but I don't know, maybe it's like some kind of, like, subconscious triggering or something, I don't know, it's just fucking weird. I mean, for me, it's, it's more like, just, like, if you want to do that, fine, but the problem is that that's just the joke. Yeah. Like, the joke doesn't go beyond that. It's more like, hey, isn't it funny that kids are swearing? Yeah. And to me, that's, like, and that, you can kind of tell that's, like, the whole punchline. Yeah, like I said, it's, like, uh, I don't want to be laughing at this, but for some reason I am, and I don't get it. It's just, um, like... It's the mm. whole, like, taboo element behind it, uh, mm. but, like, my problem is, like, again, that's where the joke begins and ends. Yeah. Is that jokes talking about, like, taboo things. Like, it's a jig, yeah. it's a it's a kid saying, I have a big dick. Yeah. It, it's God damn it, stop. Um uh, it's I'm, it's a I'm a mature twenty five year old man. I Anyhow. keep forgetting you're younger than me. Yeah, a lot of people do. Uh it's the beard. It really is the yeah. beard. Um yeah. yeah, I'm not looking forward to good boys. Uh then we got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is a movie I am looking forward to. Oh fuck to. yeah, that looks awesome. Uh so that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I mean I've talked about it before, so I don't really say much about it now unless you have anything in particular you want to say. I mean I, I wanna see it. That's pretty much it, yeah. And then Ready or Not, which is another movie I actually do want to see. What was it which one was that? That's again? a hide and seek movie. Oh yeah. Hide and seek meets Clue. That actually looks yeah. kind of fun. I'm not gonna you know, like usually I'm not a fan of horror movies, but it seems like there's a lot of charm about it. No, nah, it's got it's almost like tongue in cheek kind of uh, yeah. 
uh, horror movie, like not really horror movies, uh, like uh, I guess horror comedy. Yeah, is, uh, kind of that's thing. like best way. Like it. Clue. Yeah, like Clue. Like as, Clue. It's in the same ballpark as that. It's like, all right, I'm down for like that. Like another that's board like game fun. movie. Uh, so like, I'd be down for that. That looks fun. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that was the last one. So are you going? Final thoughts for Stewie. You want to go home? Um. Oh yeah, this movie was. Oh yeah, this review was Stuber. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got another. That feels man. like the final thought right there. Uh, like if somebody pulled this out of Redbox, I'm all like, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mm. I did not like it. Well, that was like <laughs> for okay. reasons I'm probably thinking too yeah, deeply about. I but <laughs> I still stand you're by. Allowed, you're allowed to think stuff. I just uh, think it was like. Well, thank you for your okay. permission. Okay. Yeah. I don't think like enough people are gonna see this for it to be any issue. Just but, like yeah. a white man to try <laughs> to give me permission <laughs> when I'm allowed to think. <laughs> you racist bastard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that one fucking line though was a little funny, but you know. Just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's all we got. Uh, I think me and are got to talk about crawl on Thursday, so okay. look out for that. Um, you guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Toodles.